In tasting beer for the purpose of analysis, tasters should use the same techniques each time. This helps eliminate variables that might affect how you perceive the characteristics of the sample. And the tasting technique shown here has been developed to maximize the taster's ability to pick out the attributes of the sample. The first thing we do is take a few seconds to swirl the sample in a glass to release the aromatic molecules from the beer. The presence of CO2 helps carry aromas from the sample with CO2 levels in the liquid beer reducing as the glass is swirled. Swirling can also allow the sample to warm slightly if it's too cold. It's important to remember that people differ in their ability to taste, so it's not unusual to be unable to perceive some compounds, while others in a taste panel are very obvious and even overwhelming. A common practice in beverage assessment is a drive-by, where the glass is moved from side to side as it's gradually raised towards the taster's nose. This allows the taster to spot the most active and dominant aromas in the beer without being overwhelmed by strong aromas. Once the cup is directly below the nose, it's kept still as the taster takes short, sharp sniffs. Rather than inhaling deeply, sniffing the sample allows the aromatic molecules to remain in the sinuses where sensors are located that are used to identify volatile aromatic compounds. Thousands of aromas can be perceived by the human sense of smell, which makes trained tasters an important tool in professional level beer assessment. Before tasting the beer, Stop and take a minute to evaluate what you're picking up in the aroma. Make notes about what you recognize and what aromas are new to you. It's helpful to compare the aroma added sample with the same beer that has nothing added to it while looking for differences between the two beers. A sample that has something added to it is called a spiked beer and a sample with nothing added is called a control. As you now taste the sample, make sure you taste enough to coat your entire tongue, as flavor receptors are located across the entire tongue surface. In the mouth, we taste sweet, sour, salty, and bitter, with all other flavors being perceived in the sinuses, as molecules from what you were tasting travel up into the sinus cavity and make contact with aromatic receptors. Take a moment to evaluate the sample, slowly inhaling and exhaling through your nose. As the beer warms up in your throat, more molecules are liberated into the sinuses and more aromas are perceived, making it easier to spot the aromas and flavors added to the beer. Some compounds can change the perception of sweetness or can make a beer feel thinner or more dense.